Right, hello, welcome back. Uh, I've been and got some um, bits of wood for me to start my bench, but as I say, I'm doing it in two halves, so they're going to be small ones so I can move them about easier and stuff. But right, I'll take you off the tripod and show you what I've got and a bit of an idea what I'm doing. Right. This is what I had last year. Obviously, I had a cover over it and what have you, and I just put stuff on there. But when I um, was growing my peppers, because of the curve of the uh, polytunnel, the peppers were, weren't really growing that tall at the back ones, yeah? So this obviously was very short. So I'm not going to do it the height of that. I'm probably going to do a very uh, short bench. So it's going to be roughly about, see where that black thing is there? It's going to be roughly about that height. So then it gives me a bit more height for my stuff to grow up and when I do my peppers and stuff. But this is what I've got. These are the uh, pallets that we, uh, me and Martin broke up about three weeks ago, just before Christmas, I think it was. Yeah. So, if you haven't seen that video, I'll pop that down in there somewhere. Right, because I'm using these old pallets and stuff, and when we broke them up, obviously, we've got loads of nails and stuff in, in these big boards still. So obviously, I need to get these nails out first. So that's gonna be the first job. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you that. So I'll get these nails out first, then I'll come back to you. Right, I've got the uh, nails out of these two bits that I'm gonna use for the legs. But as you can see, there's a bit of damage on the end of these two. So what I'm gonna do, obviously I'm gonna cut them to the same length, get rid of them, them uh, chips and stuff. Once I've cut that off, so they're both the same length, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them long lengths in half So then I use as much as I can because I'm a great believer in using everything I can. So as I say, once I've cut the uh, chip bits off, I'll take a measure, cut it in half, then I'll get back to you. All right, these are the legs that I've cut. They are actually uh, 50 mil tall. So, they can go in there. So they're about the height of that uh, piece of tape that I've got there. So yeah, they should be tall enough, I think. So I need to measure. Now I need to measure to see the width of that bit in there. So obviously, so I can get the bench right up the end there. So I'll give that a measure and I'll cut a couple of the end boards. Then I'll get the end boards. And screw them on there. I'll put one there and I'll put one about halfway. So that'd be about 25 mil up there. So I've got a brace in the middle and I've got a brace at the top. So I'll get on and do that and I'll get back to the up. Right, that's that all knocked together. As you can see, I've cut them and everything. Obviously, I've put a couple of battens across. Like I said, at the top, I'll run a little bit down. But all I've used at the moment is uh, recycled stuff. So, yeah, I like to do that. 
as you may know or not. But yeah, I'll try and recycle everything I can. But what I need to do now really is measure the space from there to the back of the polytunnel and then halve it. I might actually get my first bench to go up to this uh, metal post. So what I'm gonna do is measure from there to there and cut my uh, long runners out of what I've got here. So then I can <coughs> nail them together then I'll have sort of a bench. Right, I'll get and measure that. That space from there to there, get a couple of them boards cut for the back and the front, then I'll nail them on, and that's probably gonna be it for today. Right, this is what I've ended up with. I am no carpenter, I'll tell you that much, but I give anything a go. But as you can see, I've got the frame now. So tomorrow, I will try and put a baton or something inside there. Then I'll get some more of my pallet wood from my wood storage. And I can start laying the slats in. But I decided to um, put these braces on the inside here. So then, I can have another shelf on the bottom so I can store store so I can store stuff. So yeah, that's what I've got so far today. So that's gonna be it for now. So I'll get on with it and do a bit more tomorrow. Right, I've bought some of these long lengths of pallets out so I can use them on top of that. I'm gonna do it that way instead of that way because it means I'm going to cut more if I go that way so it's easier if I go that way so yeah I've got them out but what I'm going to do I'm going to cut some of these down so that they fit inside there then when I cut them down to size I can lay them across there and screw it into that bit so it'll hold it down. So let me measure and cut these. Then I'll screw it on the inside there. Then I'll come back to you. All right, I'll put them um, bits on the end there, on that end and that end. As you can see, I've got my slat along here. So all I'm going to do is bring it to the edge of that one. Then obviously I've got some panel pins. I'm just going to whack a couple of panel pins in each end. Obviously cut this off so it's level with that. So yeah, all right, I'll get and cut some of these to the length. Then I'll come back to you after that. Right, I've got all my runners cut to length and everything. I'm using these bits of off cuts from the burnt pallets to do my spaces. So yeah, all I need to do now is put a couple of panel pins in each end and we're sorted. So yeah, I'll get on and do that now. All right. There you go, that's the first one in place. I've started putting stuff on there, but I didn't realize how much junk and wood I've got in here. But anyway, that's the first half of the bench. I obviously still need to do another little one to fit in there, but I'll show you what was underneath that. Loads of wood and stuff. So I'm going to be spending the next I don't know how long, sorting out all this junk, getting rid of all the bits of little wood that I don't want. Then I'll come back to you when it's a bit tidier. Right, as you can see, I've moved all the wood on top of the bench. But once I get my other bench built in here, then 
a lot of this would have been gone. Then all I'll have is benches in here. I won't have to have stored wood in here then after that. So, yeah. All right, I'll see how we go tomorrow. I'm, I'm a bit busy tomorrow, so I don't know whether I'll be able to get anything done tomorrow. But I'm gonna, I'll need to start to do my chilies soon. So I'll take you inside and I'll get my uh, propagator cleaned out, ready for me to do my chili seeds on Saturday, I think. Right, this is my uh, propagator. It's made out of a kitchen unit. I made it last year. If you haven't seen that, then I'll put it up there. So, right, but like I said, I really, I need to, uh, as you can see, it's very messy. So I need to uh, give this a clean out. It looks like I need to sort out these cables as well. So this is gonna be a longer job than what I thought again. So I'll get this sorted and I'll show you after that. Right, that's a bit more cleaner now, as you can see. So, yeah, didn't take too long. I obviously put stuck them back up, but I don't know how long they're gonna stay put there. So I might have to change that if they keep on falling down. But these are the lights. They're only um, cheapo lights, but they are full spectrum. And they've done all right for me last year. So I can't see why they won't do any good for me now. So, yeah, let me put them on and I'll show you. Right. There you go. They are a sort of um, purpley pinky one, if you want to call it that. But yeah, they did all right for me last year. So I can't see why they won't do the same for me this year as well. I'll turn one up, but it might be a bit bright. So. And you can't see the colours on there, but there, there are red, blue, and little LEDs in there as well. You see the ones that haven't got a full light on? You can see the little bit there. But, yeah, what's this one like? It's pretty much the same as well. So, yeah, there you go. Right, I'm going to be sowing my uh, chilli seeds tomorrow. So I've seen a couple of uh, YouTubers do this, so I thought I'd give it a go. I've got an old tea bag here. I've just boiled the kettle. So I'm going to put that tea bag in there and make a weak tea solution. Then obviously I'm going to let that cool down. And later on, I'm going to split that up into uh, three lots of liquid because I'm going to put my uh, chili seeds in there. Let me show you what I'm going to sow tomorrow. Right, now that this tea solution has cooled down, I've put them into three separate containers. So all I'm going to do is pour some of these seeds into there and let them soak overnight. Then I'll plant them tomorrow. But this is what I've got. I've got some Hungarian hot wax. I tried these last year and I never got no germination. So I'll give them another go this year. I've got some cayenne. And I've got some barkash. The, uh, hung the barkash and the cayenne. I've got some quite nice chilies from them last year. But like I say, nothing from the... Uh, Hungarian, so I'll give them another go this year. I've also got three pots of sieved compost ready because I want to take that and put it get it to room temperature at least. So yeah. Right, that's what I'm doing. So once I stop the video, I'll just put some seeds into there, let them soak till tomorrow, then I'll come back to you. Right, I've been through my seeds because I never had no luck with this Hungarian last year. 
I'm going to do 10 seeds, see if I get any to come through this time. Then like the uh, Cayenne and the uh, Barcash, I'm going to do eight. But these are some of the seeds that I've picked out that I don't think are going to germinate. As you can see, these ones are brown ones, so I'm going to dump them ones. And these ones look like they've been well, they just don't look right, so I'm not going to bother planting them ones. So, yeah. Right, I've had me, uh, I forgot to say yesterday actually, I've had me pots of uh, compost in here with obviously the heat turned on. Yeah, because I've got the light going. Yeah, so obviously these are, should be quite warm now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take them out and put them on the table, get my uh, chili seeds with the tea solution, and I'll come back to you. Right, I've got my chili seeds now. They've been soaking overnight. This is quite interesting. I can't remember which way it, around it is. I can't remember whether, if a seed floats, it's, viable or if it sinks that means it is no good i can't remember which way it is around so if you can let me know down in the comments that'd be appreciated i can't remember which way around it it is but what i've got is there is actually 10 seeds in here i've got three floating and obviously the rest have sunk in that one so and in the bar cache, I've got two, four, five floating. If I can get it off the side. Yeah, there's five floating in there. And in the cayenne, there is two that is floating. So, yeah. I can't remember which way around it is. So if you could let me know in the comments, that'd be appreciated. Right. I've obviously got my um, pots out now, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to get these out of here, each cup, and put them, obviously plant them in there. I might, this is probably going to be even a bit iffy, but I might use some of the tea solution and put that in top first. So it gives the compost a little bit of moisture, but the seed should have plenty of moisture inside the seed because they've been soaking overnight. So, right, I'll do that and I'll come back to you. Right, that's the chilies all sowed. Like I said, I used the tea solution to water them. Now that oh, I've put the seeds in, I've topped them up with some sieved compost. So yeah, the heat's on and everything. Once they start growing, then I'll turn my lights on, but I won't bother till I see them starting to pop up. So, right, I've got some eggshells that I'm gonna show you now. So I'll get back to you in a sec. Over the last year or so, you might have seen these eggshells in the background every now and then. Obviously I've been collecting them over the year. So what I'm going to do, I've got my hand mixer here, <clears throat> I'm going to take some eggshells, put them in here, I can't put too many or else it won't turn, just a few, and obviously I'm going to put my lid on. and turn the blades round so that it chops them up a little bit. Right, I'll come back to you when I've done that. Right, I've been turning the handle round with the blades on there. Uh, this is what I've ended up with. Let me take the handle first. That's the blade. But this is what I've ended up with. Really, I want to try and get it a little bit finer. 
but I'm not sure it's going to do much finer. But hey, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind up all of the eggshells like that, put them in a bag, and when it comes for me to plant my tomatoes, I'm going to put a load of this around where I plant my tomatoes so they get the uh, calcium from the eggs eventually when the eggs break down enough. So yeah, let me know what you think of that idea. I think it's a good idea personally, but hey, we'll see how we go. Right, thanks for watching, commenting and subbing. If you haven't subbed yet, the bell's done in that corner. Click on the bell, click on all, and you'll get my notifications. Right, see you next Saturday. Bye. Thank you.